Greg, we previewed your new control out to Emo. We've all learned a little bit more now, but for people that didn't see that video, can you, can you fill us in? Yeah, of course we can. Uh, uh, Emo this year over in Germany, we released our Smooth AI controller. So this is a controller with artificially intelligent capability. Yeah, when we hear AI, we, we, a lot of us know what it is, but maybe not in this environment. So how does it aid the manufacturing process? Well, it aids the manufacturing process by actually acquiring information from the way an operator programs a particular part and learning that. That's one of the technologies that embraces the AI field. But there's also a multitude of products that are being released onto the AI control that use the advantages of artificial intelligence in our increased productivity controller. Give me some examples. So another example of a product is our smooth AI spindle. So we actually integrate a uh, sensor into the spindle. We're able to interpret vibration and let the controller automatically remove that vibration from the part. So what's the advantage there? Is it obviously surface finish and tour life, but is there any element to the actual spindle itself? Uh, the Obviously, as you utilize the spindle better, you're increasing the longevity of that spindle. And you talked about this digital twin off camera, so maybe you can go into a bit more detail about that. Yeah, of course. Well, with the smooth AI control, there's actually three areas that we're specifically interested in looking at. The first is, of course, the AI that we've already mentioned. Then there's the digital twinning, the ability to actually produce a complete copy of the machine in the office environment. So we're not talking about just moving program data. We're talking about moving programs, parameters, solid models, fixture details, tool details, everything from the machine over to the office environment and then from the office environment where you may have done your programming offline back onto the machine. And I've read about the automation element to the Smooth AI as well. How, how does that work? Well, we've actually improved our robot interface to make it much more capable. So integration with our robot partners is much, much more flexible and much easier. And there's this part on the screen here. Yes. I know we're talking about, well, I am, you, you're not, drag and drop programming. You know, that's what people have been talking about for years. And will we, will we ever get there? You know, are we there yet? We absolutely are. So this program, uh, this particular part here, is a part that we've programmed on the control. It's running on our Integrex IH450ST over in the ETC at the moment. Um, and we've programmed it using our solid Mazatrol, which has the AI functionality. Okay, so if you program it on, on your other control, on your other Mazatrol, how long would it take, like an advanced program, or medium to advanced, and how quick is the AI? We'd hope with the old style of programming, or not the old style programming, but the, the uh, Mazatrol style programming, somebody who's skilled in the art would be able to program this part in just over 40 minutes. And the, with, the with the help of AI? With the help of AI, you can actually program a part this complicated in just over two and a half minutes. That, that's crazy, that's astonishing. Is, does it have to, is that a repeat part, a known part to the system, or is that a new part? It's a completely new part. That's a completely new part, bring in the model and automatically generate the program from the, from the model into our Mazatrol language. And what are the limitations, the tools and things like this? You know, what happens if there's a feature where you might need a 12 mm but you've only got a 10? In those particular sorts of features, then the control will recommend that you need to add a different, different tool to the uh, carousel, to the index. Yeah, it's really clever and I look forward to seeing some in the field. Brilliant, thank you very much.